Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again, back at you with another tutorial. Got another beautiful design for you today. So this is a uh, trilobite with some added accents. So we're gonna call this one the uh, trilo, well, we'll call it the jawbone trilobite. I think that sounds a bit better than trilobite jawbone. Jawbone trilobite. And uh, this one is another sort of a, I guess you can call it a collaboration with uh, my good buddy Cord473. You can find him uh, at Cord473 on Instagram. Go check out his Instagram. Uh, he sent me some pictures of this design and I asked him again, hey, you know, this is awesome. Mind if I do a tutorial? And he's like, yeah, please. So, yeah, here we are. Another awesome tutorial from the community. That's what I love about this community as well. This one is, uh, it's not too hard to do. It's more or less a modified version of the trilobite. We've got this accent running down the middle. And we're using our licorice and our silver diamonds color. Again, that's why I love um, these pattern colors for accents. They work really well, at least in my mind. And uh, yeah, I think you guys will like this one. So do stick around, check out the tutorial. Please do watch all the way through because I always give you know, little tips and whatnot here or there. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I got my paracord set up using the standard uh, double cow's hitch on each side. And I've got my four strand core. Again, if you don't know how to do this setup, I have a dedicated tutorial for that. And that will be linked in this video and the description. So I've got uh, my main weaving colors, which are uh, licorice here. And my accent will be silver diamonds. And all amounts of paracord will be right here. So to start off, uh, we're going to start off just like a regular trilobite. Okay. And um, we're doing the four strand version or four strand core version. So we're starting off with the right strand. We're going to go under the first strand and then over, over the two middle strands, right? Like that. And then out the other side. Okay. So I've got a lot of paracord to work with because I really hate running out of paracord when I'm doing these tutorials. So I've got a lot of extra, but anyways, uh, now we did that on one side. Now on the other side, we're going to do kind of like the opposite. We're going to go over the first one under the middle strands and then over, uh, the last strand like that. Okay. So pull everything out to the other side. Like so, Okay, so this is where you want to be. Pause the video right there if that helps. Now, uh, before we start the main weave, we're going to incorporate our accent color. So I'm going to grab my silver diamond strand, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to put both through these two openings here. Like that. Okay. Pull both through those openings and you want to make them nice and even. Okay. So make sure they're even on both sides like that. And then now we're going to tighten our first knot. It's not going to look the prettiest, but just push everything up like that. Okay. And there we go. That is the start of our trilobite. And now uh, from here, we can start tying the uh, main weave. Okay, now, so for the main weaving part, trilobite is actually very intuitive to weave. So it kind of, you know, you can kind of just go with it and you can figure it out as you go. So you see on this right strand, um, you're going to go behind because as you can see, it needs to bend behind that strand on the right. Then you go under that one and then over the middle and then under the last one like that. Okay because it can really only go one way. If you go the opposite way, it's not going to work out, right? So now same thing for the left strand. Uh, we're going to have to bring it over. So you can see you need to go over the first one, under the middle, and then over the last one. Okay. So you can see that's quite simple and you'll never really lose track of what you're doing. Okay, so before you tie the second knot, you want to bring um, these accent strands to the front. Should did that first, actually. Anyways, uh, bring that to the front like this and bring this one to the front like so. Okay. Just get all that out of the way. Okay. So we 
tied our second knot and then also we brought these to the front. So now just kind of push everything up and there we go. Okay, so we have our second knot. We have our accents out on the front. Now before we go to the next knot, we have to use our uh, accents here. I'm always gonna do right and then left. So you're gonna take the right strand and you're gonna go through the middle here and then out like that, okay? So I just went uh, through the middle and then over the last one, or the one on the outside. You do the same on the other side, through the middle, under, and then over like that, okay? Pull everything to the side, pull everything up and just kind of push everything up. Also, you can do this and kind of pull on each side, make it uh, get the excess out. You can always do that after this next knot, okay? So now we pull the accents out to the front again. Now we're just gonna tie another knot. So again, on the right side, bring it under, over, under, like so. And for the other side, over, under, and over, like that. Pull all the excess out and repeat. Okay, so I'm gonna pull everything tight here. Keep this one looking good by pushing up in between uh, all the knots, right? And you can tighten those. So now uh, we're back at the same spot. So I was gonna do right first. So uh, right under and over, like so. Left through the middle and out. Not get those tangled. Okay, pull everything out. Okay, and there we go. So now, we're again, we're gonna go right strand behind, over the middle, and under, right? So under, over, under. Pull everything out to the side. And then again, on this side, over, under, over. So that's what I meant by intuitive, is that you can't really mess it up because you can only kind of go one way. Pull that cinch together, push up, and tighten every little bit. Okay, so that is pretty much this pattern. Um, just do one more. So continue going, and again, um, you're gonna get a bit of gap in between. This is very a uh, little similar to that um, the ridged fishtail we did. So let's go again through the middle and out the ridged fishtail. So it's going to space out your um, your knots a bit more. So through the middle and out. But overall, I think the effect on this one is actually really, really nice. It's very beautiful. Okay, so push all that up. Then we'll do one more. So Oh, under, over, under. And the last one, over, under, over. There we go. It's quite simple. This one might take a little more time to do just because there's a few more steps. But I think the end product will be very, very nice. Okay, so I will continue tying this one um, continue weaving down the length of my bracelet, just continue going and uh, we'll show you in the next step how to finish it off. Okay, so I'm coming down to the end of my bracelet here. It's getting a little more tricky because uh, I'm running out of space. I've only got two fids, but I do have them uh, attached to my main weaving strands. So I'm just gonna get these little guys through here. 
As you can tell, I always have extra paracord. Uh, seriously, I have like the biggest bag of scraps. But that's another story in another video. Okay, so uh, let's get these last two through here. And I've got my fids. So for the last ones, I'm going to go under, over, under. So you don't have fids, again, you guys can use um, you know, whatever you have, needle nose pliers, or hemostats work really great too if you don't have fids. But in the end, you know, the right tool for the right job. So I always suggest you guys, uh, if you're doing this as, you know, quite a serious hobby, it's worth it, you know, investing in the tools. And this last one, we will go, what was this one? All right, over, over, under, over. So I'm just going to finish off these last few tricky knots because we're running out of space. And um, just continue going until you can't go anymore. Getting a little tangled here. Anyways, yeah, so keep going until you can't go anymore. I'm going to push up on my... Uh, knots as much as I can. I can probably get maybe one or two more at the most. Okay, so go as far as you can. And yeah, I think on the last one, you'll have these uh, two accent strands. Just pass them through the center. You know, what? let's just try that now, actually. Okay, so we're gonna go through the center. Okay, that's one. This Pretty sure I can fit one more knot, but say this is a, uh, for you, this is the very end. You probably want to finish your last one like this. Yeah. So just pass them both out through the center. And then for the last one, go over, under, over, or, okay, pull that through. And then for this last one on this side, on top and then over here okay so I think I can squeeze in one last one just to make it look better but for you um, you know if you're out of space you can end it here okay so I'm going to deal with this and then um, we'll finalize on how we want to you know finish off with the, where we're going to put our ex excess strands Okay, so we're almost done, and uh, I just want to finish off these last few knots because, see, this is a little unsightly in that. So for, let's see, this one, where are we here? So I'm getting my strands mixed up. There we go. So this strand here is this fid. I'm just going to pass it through the middle here, like so. That should complete the knot on that side so we don't have that little gap. Nice. Okay, and now for this one, you've got options, but I'm just going to turn it around and I'm going to pass it through these last two knots here, these last two strands. I'm going to go underneath here. Okay, like that. I know a lot of people finish their trilob trilobites like this way anyway. So I'm going to do that. Uh, don't do that. Don't get caught there. Get out. You ever have those moments where you feel like all your fingers feel like thumbs? I get that sometimes. Okay, there we go. Nice. All right, so that looks pretty good, right? I think so. So this is more or less done. We're just going to snip and singe these three here and take this one, last one off too, and we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. We are finished. In another paracord tutorial in the books. And this one is really, really special. I like this one. It puts a really nice twist on the, um, you know, trilobite. And it looks really nice. That's what I love about these pattern colors. It's the one time where I really like to use them because a lot of times I find them just too busy. But as an accent, oh man, does it work. That's nice. Okay, so that is it, guys. Let me know what you think of this design down in the comments. Also, if you're uh, unsure of anything, you got any questions and whatnot, do leave a comment or question down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, as usual. And again, guys, if you're looking for any paracord materials and whatnot I use in this video, uh, check out my affiliate links in the description because every time you guys shop through those links, you are supporting this channel and it uh, really, really helps me out. 
All right, guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and, uh, you know, check out all the links and everything and all the annotations uh, for any related videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, see ya.